Hello, you guys. Welcome back. This is JJ. I hope you guys are doing well. So today's pick a card is going to be, what do you need to know right now? There's so many things going on, a lot of personal towers, a lot of personal shifts, a lot of personal change, especially with the eclipse that is coming up on uh, the 15th. And that reading is over on Patreon. But um, I want you to pick a deck. I have three different decks and I will pull cards um, as I go through each pile. But we have pile one, which is this deck right here. Let me just show you the other side. Patience. This is pile two. Indecision. Okay. And pile three is the leader in reverse. Okay. So we're gonna see what is the message from your ancestors. I'm, I'm really trying to connect here with the ancestors. So pile one, two, and three, pick the pile or the deck that you feel drawn to. And I will see you in your selected pile. Like always, these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If my channel inspires you, motivates you, or just entertains you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. It really helps the channel out. Thank you for all your love and support over on my podcast. You guys are amazing. And um, yeah, I will soon hopefully be putting it on Spotify and other um, other channels as well. But I will see you in your selected pile. Timestamps are always in the description box below. See you. Bye. Hello, pile number one. Let's see. What is the message for you guys during this time? Patience came out again. So maybe you guys need to have patience right now. I feel like your ancestors have been communicating with you a lot through music, okay? Musica es importante. Music is, Im music is important right now for you guys. Or maybe chanting or maybe like drums, okay? Playing the drums. Someone here plays the guitar and not like an electronic guitar, but it's a old, like a, I don't even know, a traditional guitarra. I don't, I don't know what you would say. It. Uh, it's una guitarra, ya una guitarra. Um, and... I feel like your ancestors really like it when you play the guitar. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's have a look here. What do you guys need to know right now? What's going on? Raul, the name Raul is coming out very strong. I have Raul. I have, um, at the bottom we have abundance. There is change in your abundance. Okay, I'm picking up several things. The name Raul came up. Um, Charles. Charles. I also have a Charles. That could be your name or that could be an ancestor. Um, I'm getting Fidelia. That's someone's name. Fidelia. Fidelia. I know. I'm getting Fidelia. I'm getting Xochitl. Xochitl. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Xochitl. Um... I also heard the name Saito. Saito. I don't know. Uh, but those are the names that are coming out. But right off the bat, I do see that for many of you, you are experiencing changes in your abundance. Okay. The way you make money or the way you're wanting to make money. I feel for a lot of you, you've been working through a lot of karma in your career, in your finances. Okay. I'm also picking up on a relationship change, a relationship status. There's something here that is changing. There's something here that is shifting for you guys um i feel like your ancestors main message for you guys is to surrender to the changes that are happening in your life currently okay to not try to um control it to really let go We have here Nashira, adaptation and achievement. Overcome your concerns by embracing change, you guys. Yes. Okay, pile number one, your ancestors are saying, we know you're going through a difficult period. We know you're going through massive change. And change is inevitable. Change is something that, you know, it's bound to happen. Everything in life has cycles. And so your ancestors are like, just embrace the change. 
in the midst of confusion, one can also find a purpose. I want you to, and your ancestors are saying, find the purpose of this change. Find the purpose of the chaos. I want you to really sit and ask yourself, why do you think this is happening? Because deep down, you knew this was bound to happen. Deep down, you knew this change needed to happen. That is what your ancestors are saying. Now, you might have wanted to be delayed or you might have delayed it in the past, but they're saying we cannot delay it anymore. And we have here, okay. And we have here, Sarin, sorrow and remedy. We tend to mistake our existence for our pain. Open your eyes, witness the divinity within your life. And I had, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, did I mention it? I was like, I saw the blindfold being taken off or did I just think it? I probably just thought it in my mind. But I was going to say, I see a blindfold being removed. Um, again, sorrow sometimes is also the remedy. At the time, we do not see it that way. And I get it. I understand. But don't mistake. Like this card says, don't mistake your journey or your existence for your pain. Remember that pain will subside. So we have Sagittarius and Capricorn energy here. We have defeat and diversion. For many of you, you do feel defeated in some way right now. And your ancestors are coming in to kind of just embrace that and to hold space for you today. Do not hold on to the endings. Your pain will fade. Oh my God. Yes. You're... I didn't even read that card. Okay. Your pain will fade as your garden flourishes. And that's the thing. When we're going through endings, all we do is we tend to focus on the ending. We tend to focus on our pain, which is understandable. In no way am I trying to, um, to say that your pain doesn't count because that's not true. Your pain is your pain and you're allowed to feel it. You are. But your ancestors are saying, but don't allow yourself to get lost in the pain. Don't allow yourself to forget that pain serves a purpose, that the change serves a purpose. And you have to remind yourself that the pain will subside and you will start to see it when your garden starts flourishing, when the things around you flourish, because that is the reason they'll flourish is because the change needed to happen. And that's why they keep saying, deep down, you already knew this. That's why the blindfold has been removed. This could have been that something in your life you could have been a little bit naive about or in denial about, which is okay. We are all sometimes in denial about things or sometimes just our capacity to understand something doesn't come in until later on in life. And then we see things in a different perspective and that's when the blindfold gets removed. But don't be hard on yourself, you know? Um, and don't get lost in, in the pain. You might have strong Sagittarius or Capricorn here. These two cards also came out. Ataya, wisdom and affinity. Duality teaches us that in order to love, we must bind together what differentiates us. Exactly. So some of you, like I said, relationship changed. You might have outgrown someone. You might have seen like, hey, I changed, you changed, you know, or just a realization that you're not the same person anymore. And so you're now kind of like, ooh, que paso aquí, right? Like you're seeing the duality of your, within yourself and also within others. But isn't that what love is? Seeing the duality within someone else and still choosing to love someone else or maybe choosing to maybe walk away. We have the sign of cancer, victory and conquest. Contain your temper if fulfillment is what you seek. Integrating yourself will be your best asset. <clears throat> so if something is triggering you right now and you feel like you can't speak your truth because my voice just went away apparently, um, again, contain your temper. There might be something here that is really triggering for you right now. And your guides are saying just, you know, just... You will be victorious. You will conquer the situation. Just hold yourself accountable. Contain your temper. And integrate your own duality here. What is the situation trying to mirror to you? Communication. 
That's why my throat chakra. Love. Communicate love. Communicate from a place of love. Didn't I just say, isn't that love? You know, whether this be communicating with someone that you haven't talked to in a while. Or whether this be communicating with someone like, hey, you know what? Whether you're in a relationship with this person, like, you know what? I've outgrown this or I don't want this anymore. That's okay. But communicate from a place of love is what your ancestors are saying at this time. And three and three is says 666. Six, six, six. That might be something that you might be seeing. Or 33. Physical activity. I feel like pile number one, you guys need to get moving. Get the energy moving. Because it feels like whatever changes you're going through, it feels like it's stuck. And it's stuck in your solar plexus. And I feel like you need to, I'm hearing the song, shake it off. Okay. Maybe you have to show... Yes, maybe saying, communicating, love, but also showing it through in the physical form, okay, in some way. We have the crown chakra, connection to divinity, endless wisdom and guidance. Disconnect, yeah, take a moment, disconnect, go within, detach from the 3D world. Connect with your ancestors. They're really wanting you to connect, to connect with your higher self in order for you to find inner peace, in order for you to, to find the best course of action for yourself. Yeah, because it's, it's okay. I also want to say it's okay for you to change your mind. It's okay for you to change your perspective on something. There's nothing wrong with that. If anything, that makes you human, pile number one. Be optimistic and have faith, okay? Yeah, they're also saying stop overthinking. What are you overthinking? Don't overthink it. You already know which direction to go. You already know what you need to do. And if you feel like you don't, maybe you need to meditate and connect with your spiritual team. But that is what I have for you, pile number one. That is your message from your ancestors. Um, if it inspired you, motivated you, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment, to share. It really helps my channel out. And... Um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Let's have a look and let's see what is the message from your ancestors. Okay. Hmm. They're saying victory and success. Victory and success. They're showing me a home. A home. So I don't know if this is someone who was very close to you, this ancestor. Ooh, you're afraid of failure. That's why they keep saying victory and success. You're, af okay. you're afraid of your own success, but you're also afraid of failing. That's what keeps you from your success. That's what keeps you from advancing in life. That's what keeps you from moving forward and achieving those milestones that you want because you're afraid of success and because you're afraid of failure. And you know, the higher you get, the more you got to lose. Okay. And that could be with anything, right? It's kind of like, well, that's why a lot of people don't get married too. Because they're like, oh man, being married or starting a relationship or starting a family with someone. It just means I have a lot more to lose. And your ancestors are saying, you're looking at what you have to lose instead of looking at what you have to gain. And we, that's, that's the perspective we need to shift. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that song. So this is love. At the bottom, we have peace. <clears throat> Maybe work with the symbol. I forgot the name of the symbol, but I have it in my in a manifestation grid. Um, Yantra? No, I don't know where I got that from, but okay. It says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. You're releasing a lot currently right now. Yes, there's a need for you to trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. That is the thing. You're not trusting yourself and your ancestors are saying you're you're needing to trust yourself, pile number two. Also, um, honor your physical vessel. That's a big one here. Honor your physical vessel as well. Maybe you're not taking care of yourself. Maybe you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart and you tend to overwork. 
reduction and devastation. Pay attention to your flaws. In them, you will discover your affinity with others. Aquarius and Pisces energy, divine source and love. When two souls encounter and they welcome romance, their hearts are bounded and fate becomes unbreakable. Okay. Aries, I'm picking up on Aries energy. Yes, I told you guys, I saw a home. There's something about your roots and your foundation here that I feel like <sighs> travel safe, my friend. Yeah, there's something you guys are afraid to travel out of your comfort zone. You guys are afraid to reach that next level. Yeah, the ambulance. And I feel like this is something that has been kind of like a siren. In the back, like in your subconscious that your ancestors are like, this has been going on for a while. Again, because there is this energy of like, I'm afraid of failing. And if I don't go way up high where I want to go or reach my goals or my dreams or my aspirations. Then the failure will not hit so hard. But if I get everything that I want then the fall is going to be really bad. And the dog barking always reminds me of ancestors. I feel like you're protected. I don't know why would you would think, pile number two, that you wouldn't, that you would fall. I mean, yes, we all can fall. I'm not saying that we, we don't. But your ancestors are saying, don't let your fear of failure keep you stuck. You're ready to travel. The card literally says, travel safe, my friend. Get to know the world and explore, but never forget where you came from. And that's another thing, pile number two. You are afraid that if you get all the things that you want in life, whether that be notoriety, whether that be success, whether that be that beautiful um, home or that um, whatever it is, that dream, you're afraid that you'll lose yourself. And your ancestors are saying, nah, -uh. you're very grounded. You're very rooted. You have a firm foundation of who you are. You will not get lost. And your ancestors are like, don't worry, we'll humble you. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll remind you where you come from. So they're saying, it's okay. It's okay. Stop holding yourself back. Stop holding yourself back. You're ready to explore the world. You're ready to see different things, different aspects of self. You've done so much shadow work, pile number two, that your ancestors are saying it will be an impossibility for you to get lost. You will not. Maybe because, you know, maybe there's something there in your roots and your foundation that you're like, oh, you know, so-and-so or my father or my mother lost themselves in the success or in the money or in a role. Your ancestors are saying, but you're not. You're not. So let's see. I want to pick two cards from here. There's so much ambulances in the background. I don't know if they're coming through. If they are, I'm really sorry. <clears throat> Let's see. Prestige and mastery. May your strength be acknowledged so respect shines among others. Pile number two, you're meant to be out there being seen. This is the Leo card. You have done so much, pile number two. Like, your strength is admirable. Admirable? <laughs> I don't even know, but you guys get it. Um, you allow others to shine, pile number two. We have here Capricorn. Reduction and devastation. Oh, isn't that the same card that flew out? Yeah, pay attention to your flaws in them. You will discover your affinity with others. Exactly. I feel like you guys have done a lot of the shadow work where you're like, you know, you've encountered, encountered a lot of connections where there's been a lot of mirroring. And I feel like you do that. You go within and you, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. I, I see. I see why they would react that way. Or, oh, I remember when I would react that way. It's like you do a lot of the shadow, shadow work. And that's why you guys are saying you're ready. You're ready to travel. You're ready to go and explore different things. We have Neptune, Pisces energy here, the hanged man. Yeah, don't keep yourself stuck in limbo, pile number two. Do not do that. Do not ignore your intuition. 
For a lot of you, it's like, I'm afraid of disillusionment. I'm afraid of following a fantasy. I'm afraid of, you know, being stuck in illusion. I'm hearing now that Chicago song, You're the Inspiration. <laughs> okay. And then we have, oh, look at that. My Taurus's Libra card right here, the Empress. Attraction and attractiveness in yourself and others. Grace, charm, beauty, love, relationship, art, magnetism, abundance, pleasure, and happiness. You're meant to have all of these, pile number two. You're meant to experience all of it. Pleasures, the abundance, the happiness, the interconnectedness. You might like snakes because she has a snake right there. This is so pretty. For some of you, you might be expecting... growth i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness for many of you you're being called to by your ancestors that you're ready for new growth you have outgrown something here pile number two and i feel like you know this because it's keeping you in limbo it's keeping you stuck but see because you are afraid to travel because you're afraid to explore it's what's keeping you there this might be this can look like you're being called to take a class you're being called to take a session. You're being called to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Or you're being called to start university or to change careers or to maybe leave a, a relationship. Or, you know, it can look like in so many, it can be so many things. It can be even getting married, right? There's growth in that as well. But I feel like your ancestors are saying you're ready to expand your consciousness. You're ready for more. And don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of that. There's something that has come to your awareness now that you're ready to take to the next level. Guilt. But it's like this guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. There's things that you already know and have identified <clears throat> through your own awareness that is hindering your growth. And it could be guilt. It could be that you feel guilty that you have outgrown a group of people, a person, a job, a role, um, an opportunity, uh, a friendship. I don't know. But there's something here that you already know that you have outgrown it. And you also feel guilty if you leave certain people or certain things behind. And that also keeps you from not achieving your highest potential here. Death. But change needs to happen. It's inevitable. It needs to happen. You are learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yep. You're ready for growth. And the thing is, your ancestors are saying this change needs to happen. It needed to happen and it will happen because you are to be and to become the empress. And they're saying you cannot be the empress regardless of gender if you are stuck in limbo. If you are stuck in illusion. If you are self-sacrificing because Neptune Pisces energy does this, it can be very much step into this martyr energy. Your ancestors are saying no more because you're meant to shine. You're meant to shine. But that is what I have for you, pile number two. I hope that this resonated. If it did, don't forget to subscribe, to hit that like button. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. It really helps our channel out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Let's have a look and let's see what is your message for you guys. So we have compassion. Okay, so your ancestors are saying have compassion for yourself right now. It is a very trying time um currently there's something going on in your eighth house pile number three or your eighth house placement or you probably have a lot of scorpio or there's something there look at your natal chart is something that i am picking up here um i'm being shown olaf so i don't know if that's significant for you guys <laughs> we have the illusionist okay so this card you might have been seeing a lot of dragonflies recently but the illusionist has two meanings to it it gives me the magician energy because an illusionist can make illusions, can weave things, right? Like the magician can create things out of thin air. But also the illusionist can be, you know, self-deception in a way or, or illusion being casted upon us in some way. We have the panther, evolution. 
a lot of us are being called to step it up step it up and i feel like that should be a patreon video um, but for a lot of us, you're you're being called in pile number three. You're being called to step it up in some way, to level up in some way in your life. And with that, um, when we are being called to step it up, it's like judgment card, right? It's like we have to leave a lot of things behind. And that's difficult sometimes. It's not easy. Let's see. The destiny of one. Yeah, you're being called to step into your destiny, pile number three. And with that comes evolving. With that comes great responsibility. With that comes you weaving as well. And reminding yourself that you are the weaver of your life. You're not trusting yourself in reverse. You need to trust yourself. You need to trust what you're weaving. You need to trust your vision. You need to trust your path. Because you're wise like this beautiful owl. But you're also very instinctual. You're also someone who is very um, primal. You're someone who, you know, you can feel when things are shifting and you know how to react. You're very patient. Because the thing is, you are the fertile ground, pile number three. But you're not seeing that. Your guides, your ancestors keep saying you are the fertile ground. You decide what you what you choose to bloom in your garden three five twenty one three five three might be significant but you're stepping into your destiny and like i said with that comes you know you ev evolving <laughs> you growing and expanding you also being very grounded in the 3d but also being very light like the hummingbird and also you knowing that you can handle anything that comes your way because dragonflies are the only um insects flying insects that can that move from through all the elements right they go from water to air and um they can fly in all directions so you have to believe that in yourself. Your ancestors are saying you have to believe that you can also fly in all directions. You can also adjust and adapt. Surrender and awareness is your card here. And it says great things follow those who dare descend to the depths of their existence. Again, that's why I was picking up on Scorpio energy. You guys might be hitting rock bottom right now in some way. Or you guys are being called to this darkness here. And within the darkness, there is illusion. But in that energy of void, in that darkness, something beautiful will come out of it. Great things will follow after this dark period. I've been seeing this a lot in my personal readings. Um, Scorpio, yeah, poison and medicine. This reminds me of my own rising sign. Um, I'm going to butcher this, but Ashlisha, Ashlisha, Ashlisha defined by the snake um this reminds me of that energy with the poison and medicine in order to heal we first must shed our pain and fear and for a lot of you that's what you're doing currently and your ancestors are saying it's okay it's okay you're shedding what no longer serves you you're shedding this pain this fear these illusions that keep you that are keeping you from evolving that are keeping you from stepping into your destiny so don't be afraid of the process. Trust the process. Trust the darkness. I'm going to pick one more here. Oh, no, that's a lot. We have fulfillment and serenity. <clears throat> Watching things grow at their own pace can be more rewarding than attaining them. Trust the journey. Trust the journey. Enjoy the journey. Because yes, attaining things, we sometimes feel like, oh man, when I'm over here, when I'm here, when I obtain that house, when I obtain those million subscribers, when I obtain those million followers, when I make a million dollars, 
you know we think sometimes that that's going to be like what's going to bring us ultimate fulfillment but it's the journey to getting there that is what is going to make us happy and is what is going to provide us the most growth and wisdom and your ancestors are saying really enjoy the journey enjoy the journey enjoy your existence enjoy what you're weaving enjoy the process of weaving things enjoy your human existence is what i'm getting here pile number three but let me pull some other cards here for you guys i think i'm gonna go with this deck right here for many of you in this time in this period of darkness that you've hit you are being called to take a time out a time off because you've been overworked you've been drained and i feel like your ancestors are saying you know you need this period right now to relax um and know that you're being taken care of know that you're you know you're being watched over by your ancestors i feel like this also with physical disconnection if you do like for example and i had to give my example if you do readings take some take a break if you do reiki sessions take a break right or if you do let's say if you have extra hours or vacation hours or vacation days in your work take some time off you know physically disconnect if you work on computers turn off that computer for a little bit even if it's for an hour if you're always on your phone or you work from your phone turn it off turn it off for a little bit disconnect from it um and connect back with yourself pile number three i feel like that's very important yes get grounded maybe with some crystals uh, but also know that during this time you are spiritually protected but you also need to protect your own physical health your spiritual health your mental and your emotional because you're going through a lot you're a hero in the making literally pile number three you're a hero in the making that's kind of the energy that i'm picking up on for you guys yeah okay yeah because you guys feel stuck at something is what your ancestors keep saying here let me just pull some cards and then we'll close it off. So pile number three. We have balance. Yeah, you need to balance yourself out. You need to meditate. Like I said, disconnect from whatever it is that you do. Take a moment, disconnect. Maybe watch a Disney movie since I said Olaf. I don't know. Um, but take time to go with the flow. To become aware and to just be. Take a moment to take care of your well-being. You know, your physical, your emotional. Yeah, because in time, there will be, you will be stepping into this Jupiter energy and this period of expansion and growth and when things will start moving real fast. Again, destiny. There will be a turning point. Things are turning for you. Things are moving. Things are working out in your favor. There will be luck coming in, but stay optimistic about it. In the meantime, enjoy your time off pile number three. Enjoy your break and just flow because very soon destiny is going to come knocking at your door. Very, very soon. There's a lot of growth that you're doing, but first you need to go through this Pluto energy. Like I said, that eighth house, that Scorpio. Yeah, there's some type of big rebirth awakening here. And I've been saying this for the collective. There's a big shift happening in the collective for many of us. Um, and I keep saying it. That's why I was inspired to do the webinar, the awakening, because it's big. A lot of us are feeling this energy because there's a lot of renewal happening in our lives. And it, they are total transformations. And some of them are sudden. Some of them are, are unexpected and unpredictable. But... Your ancestors are saying, it's okay. It's okay. Also, there's a sense of like, when am I going to get there? Your, your ancestors are saying, it takes time. It takes time to make stable changes. It doesn't just happen overnight. But that is what I have for you, pile number three. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. If it inspired you or motivated you, don't forget to like, comment, and share. It really helps our channel out. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell. Take care of yourselves. Bye.